Alright, hey guys, today we're taking a look at the one and only RPG to ever grace the Atari Jaguar, and that's Towers 2 Plight of the Stargazer. This is a very late release for the Jaguar, and uh, in turn it's pretty rare, and considering it's the only RPG, it's fairly sought after, so it's not the easiest game to get a hold of. I figured I'd read to you on the back of the box uh, what the game says, because I find it pretty hilarious. In uh, big, bold letters, it says, Finally, a genuine RPG for the Jaguar. Become one of four different characters as you are immersed within the strange happenings in the mystical land of Lemini. You must uncover the secrets as you explore Dagan's Tower. Many before you have tried, but none have returned. First-person perspective, full-screen, smooth scrolling. Talk to others, refer to maps, collect hundreds of items, encounter hundreds of creatures, experience challenges in combat, and spellcasting. Hours and hours of entertainment with appropriate save features. Ooh, the coveted save features. So, what do you say we get started here? I've actually never played this game before, so it's going to be a learning experience for all of us. I quickly gave the manual a glance just so I can get an idea for the controls, just in case I became stuck. So, let's start a new game file. Ooh, we get to roll and re-roll. This will be fun. Alright, so I can play as different characters here. I want to focus on a melee character. I imagine that's going to be the easiest to play, so... We're going to want high constitution, but it seems like it's going to be one of these two guys. I don't know about that guy, he looks pretty ugly. I kind of like this guy, so... Oh, but he has low strength. Hmm. Damn you, Tassler. Alright, let's... Oh, it's re-rolling every time. Okay, so if I like this guy, I can keep re-rolling his stats. This brings me back to re-rolling stats and wizardry over and over. So the highest stat I can have is 20. So I'm going to settle for either a 19 or 20 constitution and a 15 or more in strength. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? I don't even know if he can get higher than 15 in strength. We'll find out. Yeah, I can spend hours sometimes rolling characters in RPGs, because you need to get the right stats. But you know what? That's good enough. 14 strength, 15 constitution, good amount of dexterity and everything else. We're going to roll with that. Alright. So... There's a movement mode and there's a hand mode. Right now we're in hand mode. This is used to grab objects and access our inventory by going over our portrait and pressing the action button. Um, or at least I thought. You press the one button, two. There we go. Okay, so that's the equipment screen. Let's see what the manual says, because this does use all the keypads on the Jaguar. I'm sure a lot of you remember the phone-looking dial on the Atari Jaguar controller. So, number two will access my stats. There we go. There's hunger, and there's food, and stamina. There's all that stuff. The map is map to the nine button. There's our handy-dandy map, which auto-fills. And um, everything else we'll learn as we go, so let's get started. Now, there was a video of this on YouTube, which I watched a while ago, and the guy that was playing, no offense to him, but he got owned, so I completely anticipate the same thing happening to me. <laughs> I do not intend to live long in this game. Alright, so, to pick this up, we gotta press the A button, switch to hand mode, grab this, and oh my god, an enemy already. Alright. Let's not get messed up too much here. Attack. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Now, I am missing because I'm, my dexterity is probably not high enough. Or no, my strength constitutes how often I can hit. No idea if these enemies are randomly generated or what. Uh, so I'm not sure if that guy was supposed to appear there. What is that? I thought that was a sword. It's a candle. Okay. Why can't I move? There we go. The controls are very slippery, by the way. I just want to say that it feels like I'm moving on ice. Oh, I'm playing as a different character. Okay. I guess this is... Uh, allowing me to play as different characters when I die. That's 
pretty odd. Or is this loading up someone else's save? Did that really just load up someone else's save? Um, yeah, this looks like it totally just loaded somebody else's save as a level 2, because I did buy this game used. Alright, I don't want to play someone else's save. Uh, pressing the A button will bring up a menu with one of two previous save games. Uh, okay, so... Um, how do I get out of this guy's game? Checking the manual here. Option, activate, load, save. Okay. I can see this game is going to be a, quite the learning process here. Unpause. Yeah. Pause and then press option. Um, load again? No. I guess that's going to take me back to this guy's save. He seems fairly far along. Okay, we're going to restart. I know this is probably the most eventful <laughs> quick play I'm going to ever do. Give me a second here. First impressions. This game's going to be hard. <laughs> the interface, um, I can tell it's going to be really tough. Hope you guys don't mind me kind of learning as we go along here, but I think it'll make for a bit more of an interesting look into the trials and tribulations of Tower 2. If I went into this game knowing everything and how to do everything, then you guys would not know what to expect the first time that you uh, buy this game and pop it in for the first time. So, since it is a pretty expensive game, this is so you know what you're getting into. So, let's incarnate. However, this time... Let's not go with the guy that looks like he can get beat down in a few hits. Let's go with the guy that actually looks like he can... Ooh, 20 strength and 17 constitution. We are taking that. Alright, let's not get our ass freaking kicked right off the bat. I'm telling you, it, it's really pretty tough to control, so you gotta... Bear with me when I'm trying to do all this. Alright, I got a backpack. I'll put it right there. Alright, so now we got more inventory space. Good. Now it's time... Oh, maybe I should... See if I can open this. Maybe it has a weapon. No? I guess it just gives me more space. Okay. Back out. Let's find a weapon. If that's even possible. <laughs> I don't know where the weapons are. This reminds me of, like, um... The Advanced Dungeons and Dragon games on the 3DO. Let's see if this is a switch or something. Nope. Alright, so maybe that enemy was randomly spawned before because I'm... Oh god. Sorry, didn't mean to hit you. Ooh. Probably was not supposed to hit him. Maybe talk? Let's talk about it. No, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> probably wasn't supposed to kill that guy. I was probably supposed to talk to him, but... Um... Oh, he's got a key. And a wooden mop. Alright, let us equip the wooden mop. Alright, I gotta hit this to bring up the character equip. Weapon goes right there. <clears throat> oh yeah, we got a mop now. Right, I'm getting kicked. Apparently this game does not pause when I'm <clears throat> in that menu screen. <clears throat> oh my god. And he is fast. This game does not hold anything back with difficulty, I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> Fuck. Um, what if I don't want to load my game? What if I just want to keep re-rolling my character? <laughs> This doesn't seem right. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna end the quick play here and figure out how to, um... I'm gonna... Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna make you bear through all of this with me. <laughs> so that you can see what you're gonna go through when you get your first copy of Towers 2.
Hold on. Okay. So I gotta make a new character. And I think I'm just gonna start the game and immediately make a save. Because there doesn't seem to be a way to, um, to not load a save when I die, which is very strange. What if I wanted to go back to the menu and make a new game, like I do now? Okay, so, new character. Ooh, those are terrible, terrible stats. Let's just get something a little better. All right, that's good. Okay. Whoever had this game before me didn't make it far either. Okay, save game. We're going to do a cartridge save. I'm pretty sure that's probably going to erase the other guy's file. Alright. Pick up this backpack. Oh, man, the controls are quite slippery. Alright, maybe I have to go in this door. See if it's unlocked. Door's locked, of course. What RPG would not have a locked door? Alright, let's find that old man with the broom. Maybe he isn't supposed to attack me. Let's go this way first. Cheese, assuming that probably gives me health. Maybe I can pick these up without going into hand mode. Nope. Alright, so you gotta go into hand mode and manually do it. Scroll. Alright, so the scroll... Um, if I go over it and hit the action button... I thought it was supposed to teach me magic. Oh, here he comes. Alright, now let's see if he attacks. Or if I can talk. Okay, if you'd stop moving, I can... Good day, greetings, sire. Alright. Give me that goddamn key. And that broom. <clears throat> Alright. Oh my god, don't tell me he didn't drop it this time. Alright, there's the wooden mop. I'm hoping this thing is not decreasing my stats. Let's actually see. I can check my stats. Press 2. So, let's see. Damage 4 to 8. Alright, I'm pretty sure that increased my attack. Alright, so that's good. But where is my key? He didn't drop a key. Or is... Man, this is like... Towers 2 on ice. This is crazy. How do I use these? Forgive me as I reference my manual here. Man, back in the day, game manuals used to be so useful. Spell casting. To cast a spell, you must first find a scroll. Just did that. With a spell on it. Don't know how I know that. By reading the scroll, you will duplicate the spell on your spell canvas. When the spell is on the canvas, blah, blah, blah. maneuver over the picture. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. Okay. Um. I guess. I guess I can't read it. It's just a regular scroll. Or maybe I gotta place this over here. Oops. <laughs> well, the game has some physics. That thing just went flying across the screen.
hold on to these things because I'm probably not using them right. Okay, it's a dead end in here apparently. I know I'm about to get ambushed by that guard again. Is there a way to like check what these things do? Because the gameplay doesn't pause when I'm taking damage, so essentially it's going to be very hard to access that. I'm in mid combat. Now I can sidestep by what is it holding down the It's either the four, the four and the six button will sidestep me, but there was another way to do it, but I don't remember how. This will have to do. All right, let's let's save our game because I just heard a, lo a loud bang, and I have a feeling I'm going to be dying soon. And I am extremely lost as it is. I mean, I, I'm totally for games that don't hold your hand, but this is a new definition. Because I really have no clue where I'm going. Another janitor guy. I wonder if I get experience when I kill them. Let's see. Um... Doesn't tell me my experience. So I'll kill him anyway. But let's see what he says first. Good day. No one's around. Key? What is that? Chicken leg? Club. Ooh, alright, that's good. My RPG senses are now kicking in. Got the first upgrade. Our attack is now 4 to 10. Alright, I'm addicted. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what is this? Wow, it goes all uh, Morrowind style. I can, you know, take over someone's house and take all the gear that I find and pile it on the tables and make my own home. I think I'm going to call this corner my, my home. I'll take all the dead bodies and pile them up here. I used to do that in Morrowind. I used to love taking over someone's house and, you know, collecting a certain item like all gold coins and lining the floors and the walls with them. I'm sure a lot of people did that. I'll never forget the time when my friend, um, he took over, like, this mansion in the game, one of the biggest houses you can take over, and he killed the people in the house, took off all their clothes, and stuffed them in the closet. So when you open the closet, uh, all you saw was a whole bunch of naked dead bodies. <laughs> but that's what I miss about Morrowind, um, is that Skyrim added all the physics, so it's it was kind of hard to customize your own house. Yes, the house uh, system in Skyrim was vastly improved, because it was never really recognized in Morrowind, people just kind of did it. Um, but in the in Skyrim you can buy your own houses, but the physics would make it very hard to, especially with like weapons and stuff, um, it made it very hard to put stuff on tables because it would fall and get lost. Alright, so let's go. Let's go, Green Knight. I keep missing because my strength isn't high enough. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get owned. Short sword. Hell yeah. Alright, let's see what my stats are. 4 to 10, same thing. You know what? 
Oh, like a so Ooh, double-handed? Really? No. Alright, maybe not. It, wait, did my attack... Tw oh, same thing. Okay. I wish I could figure out how to do these scrolls. Can't remember any words. Can't remember any words. Weird. Let me eat this. Can I eat it? Um, maybe I gotta go to my portrait. Oh yeah, that's it. I figured this game out. Things are starting to come together now. What's that? No, get the get the stat screen off. How am I supposed to see? Oh my god. Dear stat screen. Please. Oh, I forgot I had my map. I'm telling you, I'm like f battling with this controller right now. That looks like a shield to me, and I really want it. Here we go. Not a shield. Alright, we press on. Let's check our map. Um. I can't really exactly read the map because I can't see the position I'm facing. Let's see here. Wait, why did that not cure me? I thought the cheese would cure my health. Apple, maybe? Oh, Jesus. That scared the shit out of me. That guy looks tough. Why is he not attacking me? Maybe... Wow, okay, he's a good guy. He looks like a badass ninja to me. I kind of want his equipment. Alright, let's save it. Gotta pause and save. Let's try this. Wish me luck. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let's see what I got. A dagger. Hmm. I can assume it's probably not as good as my short sword. No. Attack, defense, save. Oh, okay. I forgot I had the food element. That is why, um, the cheese would fill my hunger, and the apple would fill my health, it looks like. For the meantime, I want my short sword back. Anything else from you? Nope. Thanks for the experience, though. Hopefully I'll be leveling soon. Another janitor. Get out of here. Where you going? No key. It's like I'm just betraying my own people. Is that a broom? This looks like stairs. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, that's stairs. <clears throat> Short sword. I don't know if weapons have different stats from sword to sword, but it doesn't look like it. Hmm. I wonder if I'm able to throw weapons. Let's hold on to that and see. I'm gonna leave that as my active hand. 
Can I just regain health from moving? I'm gonna eat an apple. I'm not hungry, okay. Um, what is this? Healing potion. Perfect. Probably could have used that when I was lower on health, but... I can hear the footsteps in the distance, and it's creeping me out a little. I'm sure you guys can hear my creaky Jaguar controller, listen. That's me turning. That's me going forward. It's a bit creaky. But hell, it still works. I've had this thing since I got my Jaguar back in the day. Back when you could walk into a store and there'd be an entire aisle of Jaguar games, brand new. Miss those days. An aisle with 32X games and Jaguar games. 3DO, I always wanted 3DO games, but couldn't have them all. 3DO is just too expensive. <clears throat> this guy's pissed, I killed his brother. He's out for revenge. A ninja that wears a cross, <clears throat> it looks like. very discouraging that um, I'm not finding more healing items because I'm getting a bit worried that I'm going to get myself into a situation where I, uh, I'm not going to be able to get out of it. <clears throat> oh god. Like right now. <clears throat> Throwing dagger go. <laughs> I don't think that did anything. Okay. Where'd this guy come from? There he is. <clears throat> He's running. Yeah, you better run. Come on. He's probably like bringing me to his posse. Gonna turn this corner. Alien vs. Predator style. There's gonna be like 20 of these guys waiting for me. And what do you know? <clears throat> yeah, and now look, he turns the fight. The AI in this game is advanced. What do, I, what do you know? And his brother just disappeared. Hmm. Alright, well, let's save anyway, because that went fairly well. I'd say. I really want to learn how to use magic, though. Here's my manual. Here it is. Oh, Jesus, hold on. There he is. He came out of the wall. This guy's still running. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Short sword? Short sword. Okay. Flight of the Stargazer manual. I hope you guys don't mind me doing this, but... I, uh, I'm assuming I have a healing spell somewhere. Cast active spell. Spell. Must have a spell memorized by selecting the spell in hand mode or by toggling the spell with 7 on the keypad. Huh. Okay. Let's try and figure this out. Because I'm not even going to lie, like, bad controls aside, I'm actually kind of enjoying this right now. <laughs> Believe it or not, like, now that I'm starting to get into it, I like the strategy in this. Alright. Um, while in hand mode, do I, like, put it on my character? Oh, that's how you gotta do it. You gotta put it over your portrait. Of course. They know what we canceled tonight. Okay. Get the F out of here. Useless piece of paper. Wash your hands before leaving. I must have went into the bathroom. That's what that room must have been before with all the fountains. 
Whoa. Spirit Axe? That sounds like a badass spell. Hell yeah. I'm getting into this now. Alright. How do I use my spell? Um, <laughs> now I gotta figure out how to use it. Cast Active Spell with the C button. Alright, I'm gonna try that out on the next enemy. But, let's save. Yep, yeah, I'm already breaking into the Skyrim Morrowind uh, habit of constantly saving. Oh, you do regain health over time, that's, that's a good thing. I just saw it tick up. Um, I also want to give a shout out to one of the people in um, my Kazekiri quick, pl uh, quick play. Recommended that I do a quick play of this game, so... Forget your name, I apologize, but... I hope you're enjoying this if you're being able to put it up, f to put up with my video for this long. Handy dandy map. Alright. I have a feeling I should go back to the original area to try and level up some, but we will press on. Try our luck here. Perhaps find a epic loot stash of new weapons. That's the stairs to the next level already? I don't think I'm prepared. Yeah, I'm not going to the next level yet. I'll just have to remember where that is. Because if it's like any other RPG, um, you don't want to keep advancing that fast, because the enemies will get tougher. Let's eat. <gasps> a necklace! Now, let's check my stats while I equip this. Oops. Um... I think it goes here. Now, let's see what goes up. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't show you when you equip it at first. But whatever, something went up. <laughs> that's all I know. Some stat went up, and that's good. Mm. Prison cell, huh? Man, they sure have a lot of janitors in this place. I've come to rescue you. And kill you. Let's pick up this. Might be another spell. Create... F oh man, that's awesome. So, I pressed the 7 key to, to cycle between my spells, by the way. Uh, let's just test that now. Okay. Fairly convenient. Okay. I don't know, guys. I started off not caring for this game, but I'm starting to like it. Um, I've been over here already. I have. But I haven't been in one of these doors. Space? No. Um, okay, we'll keep it for the hell of it. Maybe we need it for a puzzle or something. Switch plate. Okay, I need to go... Um, this way? I don't know, that, that's a really hard map to read. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like I've been in mostly all these rooms. I'm just gonna go down to the end of the hallway here. Even though I think I've been down. Yeah, okay. It looks like I have to go up. I'm done with this floor. Right? Yeah. 
Up we go. This game likes putting enemies in front of me when I go up a flight of stairs. Uh oh. I did not open that. Alright, let's let's save. <laughs> Get used to me saying that. Urn. Why am I getting all these potteries? Strange. Another urn? Hmm. I'm gonna leave that there. Because I don't think I need a second one. I'm like OP now. These guys can't even hit me. I think I'm just gonna like start holding on to these daggers and throw them and see if it does anything. Even though I probably miss every single time. Ooh, a fountain of healing. Please, please, please. Fountain, heal me? No? That would be too kind to this game to give me a fountain to heal me. Oh, apple. Thank you. I'm not hungry, but I need food. Damn it. Beef jerky? I need health. No. Oh, I forgot I have my spell. I can use that the next enemy. Here we go, come on. <coughs> Hell yeah. <coughs> He's a tough one. <clears throat> it's gonna be close. Let's try it again. This time I'll start with my spell. And you can miss with your spells. Um, it's not a guaranteed hit. I wish I knew what these urns were for. Maybe... Maybe just... I don't know. I don't want to waste my next axe spell. I'm assuming create food is just going to make, like... Not health. Here comes someone. Better hurry. Not enough mana, why would I have enough? I've gotta kill these guys to regain <clears throat> mana. Now I'd save, but I really don't want to overwrite my save file with uh, so low health. I don't want to pigeonhole myself into... Oh man, I'm tempted to... I don't have enough mana to do the healing spell, the food spell, okay. But I really need health. Maybe this is like a pot to put food in? No, damn. would be too convenient, wouldn't it? Wait, is my health returning even though I'm not moving? I just keep trying this. I don't know why I keep trying that. It obviously is not working. I do want this bread, though. Nice view. Let's check our map. It's 
just hug the walls in case I'm missing something here. Because otherwise I came in here for nothing. I really- I can't- I, I almost can't believe- wait. No. Could it be... That you take this? And hit this? No. Damn it. I guess that's just there for show. Um, just doing a quick recheck of this area. Why are these urns here? I feel like I'm missing a puzzle or something. Ooh, what's that? Crown? Headpiece? Magic resistance ring. Nice. I'm assuming this is ring? Yep. Alright, I think I'm feeling good enough to save. pretty much done with this area. Let's uh, move on. I guess it was worth coming in here. Got that ring. Which tells me that I'm probably going to be running into some nice, nasty uh, magic using enemies soon enough. Let's grab this so we can use it as a projectile. Uh-oh, here we go. Alright, let's back up. Get some strategy going here. Hell yeah. Throwing knife for the win. Magic, boom. My stats have increased. My skill, level two. All right. Can I eat something now, please? Oh man, that doesn't fill my freaking health. I found that so silly. Well, I mean, it would make more sense to me if there were more health items around here, I mean. But for now, I'm just going to keep picking up these, because that seemed to be fairly fairly helpful in getting rid of that guy. Please, don't be an enemy. Alright, another urn. These things have got to do something. Maybe copper urn. So weird. Huh. Man, that one blue health potion I got, boy, that was like sacredness. Unless I missed like a healing scroll in the first level of the dungeon or something. Maybe, you know. The game seems evil enough to do something like that. Where now that I missed that, I'm like, screwed. I'm half tempted to try and go back, but I'll just keep pressing on. weird. I guess I gotta go back in this room and I'm missing an exit in here? Gotta keep going forward. There's the stairs, okay. Not like I need the enemies to get any tougher than they already are, but... I hear footsteps. No surprise enemies this time, but they're around, that's for sure. Oh, the stairs are already there, huh? But I'm so low on health. Oh, here he comes, okay. Magic. Get him, get him. Come on, come on. 
Got him. That was intense. If he hit me one more time, I was done. I didn't get any mana regeneration from that, though. What the hell? If there's an enemy in one of these rooms, I'm done for. And I... Oh man, if I save, it's gonna screw me. Maybe if I... Save. But if I do a memory save... I'm not sure what the difference would be. Health potion, please, like, just be nice to me. Help me out. Those are the stairs I came up. I gotta remember so that I don't take the wrong stairs later. One of these doors is gonna have an enemy, because I can hear the footsteps. The game gives you plenty of freaking pots, but not enough health potions. I have to be missing something here. I don't need no freaking cheese, okay? an enemy. It's only a janitor. Maybe, like, he'll give me something. You know, why don't I have any equipment yet? I can almost swear that that video I watched on YouTube, the guy, like, talked to somebody and they gave him equipment or something. I could be wrong, though. <clears throat> I just hit myself. It bounced off the wall and hit me. Freaking brilliant. Looks like that's the end of it. Wait, what is it? Oh, Jesus. I think I saw something on the wall. The guy's running the freak away. Like, I saw a little gold switch on the wall. You'll see. Watch. Look. See that? If that's a secret, I'm gonna be freaking proud of myself. O. O. M. F. G. How did I pick that out. That is... I'm awesome. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on, come on. Fucking Christ, get him. Sorry to curse, but this is intense. Got him. Oof, man. I don't know. That, that kind of, like, feels like I need to save just because that was so nice. But if I save... Ah... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Screw it. Nice. There's gotta be something in here. I still don't know how the hell I, I picked out that little tiny freaking thing on the wall. Please be food. Please be food. Health. Feces. Oh my. Should I dare? Let's, let's see. Nope. Doesn't work. I like how it acknowledges that I picked it up and now there's two pieces of shit on the floor. Um, still in 
the secret passageway, it looks like. Oh my god, could that be my first pair of gloves? Or bones? Bones, of course. Tell me there's like a like animal in here or something that's just gonna chew me apart. Give me my knife. Maybe I need the bones. I mean, just... Maybe I'm thinking too hard here, but... Maybe I, I'm gonna need them, so... Let's hold on to them. I mean, if I can kite the enemies with my spell... I should be able to take them down, as long as they don't hit me once or twice. I'll be good. Oh, shh. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's shooting at me. Shoot, shoot, sidestep. <clears throat> Fuck. Christ. That's gonna kill me. <clears throat> nope. Get out of spell mode. <clears throat> Damn. I forget where I saved. Okay. Which way do I gotta go? Let's go this way. I think this is the way I didn't go. <laughs> Should have had a feeling when there was shit. Some adventurer probably came here, just like me. Shit their pants when they saw that thing. Oh, wait. What is this? Please be equipment or food. Come on. Oh, well, finally something useful, for Christ's sake. You know, I gotta give this game credit. It's got some nice little secrets to it. I like being able to find a cloak, too. Nice. I like being able to find my equipment out in the wild like this. Found a secret. Pretty unique enemy behind there. And a switch. What's this? Just a hole in the wall. I'm gonna save here. That's the crap. Alright, I'm just gonna have to try and get lucky and... No, that's not gonna work. I just can't go that way. Unless I can lure it out. Into the open. Game over. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, this game has continues? <laughs> How is there? There's a load system. Alright, I'm gonna try and lure it out. Run back. Wait, I just gotta make sure I know where to turn. Alright, so it's not the first left. It's... Wait a minute. Because this is the dead end. Where the hell was the exit? If I run around like this, I'm regaining my mana. Alright, this was the exit? Yeah. Okay, so it is the first left, so if I lure that thing out, maybe I can, like, just run past it. See what's beyond here. Alright, so it's the second left. Fucking <clears throat> Christ, that thing is after me. <clears throat> God! It, it just appears! I like the developers. They they definitely put that there on purpose to give you a warning that you're about to crap your pants. <laughs> Freak. All right. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna have to come back there in the hopes that I can find a uh, health potion around here somewhere or something. Because I can't get by him. Darn, it looks like I've really been everywhere. Maybe I have to come back there later. 
Yeah, I've, I've basically covered everything on this floor. Oh, this is the first floor, right? That looks f like the first floor to me. Because that's the continuation of where I was earlier in the game. Okay. Let's get uh, to the next floor. Too bad there's not like... Oh, you know what that probably is? That's what it is. That's a passageway so I can get back to the beginning of the game. It looks like if I had to. Hmm. Which is probably where I missed a nice convenient healing spell as well. Alright, let's just save because I don't feel like running back again. Tell me something useful, give me a piece of equipment. <clears throat> Sorry. Ooh, key. A raised silver key. It's not just any key. Uh, locked, but I guarantee you that this key will open it. It is now unlocked. These guys just don't have anything else to say. So why would this be locked in the first place? Gotta be like a secret here, no? Hmm. Okay. But I'm gonna kill you first to get some free experience, thank you. Door's locked. Maybe this unlocks it? <laughs> the master key? Is this the skeleton key? Oh shit, yes it is. <sighs> well guys, I think that's a pretty good place to uh, end this quick play. Unfortunately, it looks like I've overlooked some kind of heal spell, I would imagine, because I've found a total of one health pots the entire time, and I mean, I, I won't lie here, I think I've done fairly well for having a single health potion this entire time I've been playing. But uh, overall impressions, the controls are very slippery. The interface is pretty clunky, um, especially with, you know, just the whole interface of trying to fumble around, switching between the hand mode and the the uh, action mode, essentially, where you can move around. Um, but once you get used to it, it's, it's not terribly bad. I do like the sense of exploration. The map is definitely, it could be better, but it's nice that they give you one at all. Uh, and it's fun, you know, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the little hidden secrets that I'm finding in different equipment. I'm sure, I, I still really think I missed something on that first floor, though. I think I should have found equipment earlier than I have, but I could be wrong. But uh, if any of you have played this before and have any tips for me, definitely let me know, because this is a game that I definitely would go back and revisit and uh, give some more time to. So thanks to all of you that endured through this video. I actually have no idea how long this ended up being, but I definitely played through a pretty decent chunk of it, and I'm pretty sure this is like the longest gameplay now on YouTube for it. So hopefully um, anybody that has this game or plans on playing it, if you can actually find any usefulness in this video to help you along in your own playthrough, particularly that one little secret I found. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all soon.